That is actually a Japanese rice cake. Ooh. I hear someone, wa did someone have some background on that? I heard someone jumping in. No, I was going to ask you what that was because I'd never heard of it before and I saw it written down and I'm going, oh, what? <laughs> oh, you. Well, I actually have a little background up that I can share and read. So let me pull that up. I got to see which one of my tabs it is. Here it is. I actually get the National um, Day calendar. So it's kind of fun. So it says today is August 8th on the national calendar, which means we are celebrating sweet Japanese rice cake moochie on National Moochie Day. So here's a couple surprising facts about it. It is a traditional Japanese rice dessert made from glutinous rice. It dates back to the third century, AD 201 to AD 300 during the Nara period. <clears throat> it is said to have evolved during the same time as rice cultivation. In Japan, rice is a significant part of Japanese culture. Yeah. It tells us that mochi refers to, why am I losing my voice? <laughs> to Japanese <laughs> lore, gods and goddesses, celebrations, and art that dates back to the third century. Wow. So is, uh, is glutinous rice, is that sticky rice? Kind of a sticky, I believe. I was yeah. watching a segment okay. on the morning show today where they were talking to someone who was making things, and he was doing donuts out of moochie kind of so that was oh, kind of okay. a cross thing he was trying to cross the two so that was interesting oh, interesting yeah yeah and my understanding is you can have all kinds of uh fillings that is correct yes. you no know, anything from meat to mm -hmm. anything, you know, shrimp, <laughs> yes. shrimp. <laughs> it actually lists five types that they suggest you should try i am not going to attempt to pronounce these because i will blow them but the first one is, it looks like it's Shego Dafuki, Dafuku. It is um, Muchi with a fresh strawberry and red bean smear. So that's kind of an interesting co combination. Right. Then there's Sakura. Yeah. That's a pink right. Muchi wrapped with an edible Sakura leaf. Yeah. And Sakura is, um, is like, um, I want to say it's actually their cherry blossoms, which, oh. which, actually don't smell like anything but um but they're pretty interesting yeah <laughs> and there's another yeah. one hishi muchi is a three layer of muchi in pink white and green and these are different also eaten on certain days to celebrate so they're not just eaten on the muchi day then there's hanabira muchi which is new year's day one and that's the first tea ceremony of the year and those are made to resemble a flower and then kusamuchi is a green muchi with an ice cream filling. So that kind of goes along with our custard for the day. Yeah. Um, on the wow. segment of my morning show this morning, they were doing ones that they were filling with fruit. They were filling one with um, a custard that they had infused with alcohol. <laughs> there you go. And they were topping okay. it with strawberries. So it sounded really good. It does sound good. Now, yeah. question, was the alcohol bourbon? <laughs> uh actually no it was i'm trying to think what it was um it would be good that would work i would think i would think bourbon would mm -hmm. it'll right, come to it, me but it can't be bourbon unless it's made in kentucky <laughs> there you go because <laughs> it ain't bourbon it could be it can be method bourbon wine, right <laughs> right <laughs> i well, will like add what they say about about method champenois if it's if it's not made in the champagne reason <laughs> region of france it's not champagne it's method champenois so yeah there maybe, you go if yep. it's made yeah. outside of bourbon county kentucky then it's method bourbonois yeah well that ties into a couple other things this is a day with a very long list and a lot of food things um, I'll talk about the other two food things, and then I'll tell you what the other thing of the day is, which probably is because of the coma you're going to get from all this food. Um, today is also sneak some zucchini into your neighbor's porch day. That's for those of you who grow zucchini, and they come out in an abundance. My grandma always did, and I loved her um, zucchini bread. So it's also National Whataburger Day for those of you who know the Whataburger chain that's down in the South. So, okay. but And National CBD Day. But if you do all of those food things and whatnot, you're going to be ready for a coma. And it's also global sleep under the stars night. Oh, perfect. 
Who doesn't like to sleep? So under I figure the stars? that's a good way to wrap it up. So when we're all done tonight, we can go sleep under the stars and we will have had a full fun day for an happiness happens day. <laughs> and hopefully it won't rain. Yeah, you won't yeah. sleep under there the is that raining. <laughs> Or a thunderstorm. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, like we had last night. Yeah. Yeah. And my thoughts go out to the people on the coast that are getting indonated. I my friend lives in Virginia and he's about to get it. So yeah. Is that the leftovers from uh Debbie? Yep, Debbie. Yeah. I used to live Debbie's in North Carolina and some of my friends by Fort Bragg are getting nailed right now. So yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, I saw that in the afternoon news or noon news that it was it was in North Carolina, you know, was where the eye was. So it was coming up here. Yep. Went offshore and then came back onshore and went across South Carolina and North Carolina. So, yeah. But, and my mom lives down in North Carolina and she did not have to be evacuated. So it's a good thing. That's, oh, good. that's good. I used to live in Fayetteville. So it, it lost enough of its strength that she didn't have to leave. Huh? Yeah. Right. She, I mean, don't get me wrong. They've had many hurricanes down there. Oh, yeah. She's been evacuated a number of times, but she yeah. had, didn't have to evacuate this time. It had, really was very, uh, you know, th they had some warnings and things like that, and they had some fairly big thunderstorms, but they didn't actually have a flood or anything like that. So that's they good. Were very lucky. Yeah. Where's she at? She lives in Hilton Head. She's okay. In a, I know exactly where that a, is. Yeah. She's in a retirement um mm -hmm. place in hilton head yeah yep Sounds know like it well retire <laughs> do we ever retire is that is that a thing <sighs> that's a pipe dream in my book <laughs> i'm just curious i'm intrigued by this retirement <laughs> anyway <laughs> me too <laughs> can i win the lottery please i'd like to try it maybe we can do yeah, an agile really. game on how to get to retirement mm. oh there you go same. How about what to do in retirement? That's uh, my I yeah. told my husband he can't retire until he decides what he's doing in retirement. <laughs> besides bugging me. Oh, yeah. all that time, you know, eight hours a day you know, <laughs> available to you. You don't have to work it. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> COVID was a good trial run for us. Or can't we live together all the time in the same house? Well, you did survive it, so that's encouraging. So far. <laughs> so far. So far. Okay, good caveat. I plan to travel when I retire. I'm going to, I like that. There's a cruise that takes almost a year. Being that uh, one. Do. I, I'm thinking, maybe I want to do that. I mean, it goes wow. through a lot of the Caribbean and everything, but it has... I forget how many stops it says it has, but you know, many countries and sites. There's uh, a lot of seniors that do that. They say it's cheaper to do that with the medical care on the ships and whatnot than it is to have a home and pay the taxes and whatnot. And you see something different and stay busy. So hmm. I'm just hoping I can win enough money or save enough money to do the trip I want in, Jan in next March because I am dying to do a very international one the cubs the cubs are playing in japan next year and japan's one of my bucket oh, list things so wow. i want so desperately to go to that game oh. <laughs> I, always... march 18th and 19th they will be in tokyo japan so and and last year i did the one in london so i would just i have two friends that are in my choir that have lived in japan and they're willing to help me and whatnot so it's just if i could get the money they would be my travel guides and Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. The dream. Yeah. I, I've always you know? I've always had to do too much traveling for work. So uh, I think when I retire, I will not travel. Vacation <laughs> for you. So it's not what you know, it's who you know. There you go. Exactly. Yep. Yes, that is true. That is true. Knowing people, it brings you happiness, right? So tonight's theme is happiness. So I'm just going to keep calling out. It's it. awesome. Ooh, Norman changed the color and everything. I oh, added the under the stars Ooh. theme. Oh, that's oh, I like fun. that. Very oh, that's cool. Fun. Love it. Great I had to add right that there. in because it was just such a good wrap to what kind of day it is. You know. <laughs> Happy to share the image if somebody wants to grab it. Yeah. Love yeah, it. Yeah, please do. Please Definitely. Do. We'll have to add that one. I like that. I had a chance to sleep somewhat under the stars not too long ago. I went. Uh, 
camping in Michigan, oh, nice. Michigan at, uh, in Petoskey at, at the campground it's right on the water. Mm. And so the oh, sun, Petoskey's sun pretty. it was gorgeous. Sun was setting. I, I went down to oh. the water, took a long video of the waves crashing. It was just like, like stars were out. It was fantastic. Oh, sounds beautiful. Nice. It was, nice. it was, it was I, like just what you need. Right. I mean, I, it wasn't, uh, was in Japan, but it was a little slice of heaven. <laughs> I understand. Well, I was laughing because the last night game I was at at Wrigley, as you all know, I'm a Cubs fan. Um, it was really? one of those days where it had been raining and we had rain at the beginning of the game. And I, everyone was watching me because between innings, I was taking all these pictures of the sky. They're like, what are you doing? Well, then I showed them the pictures. One of the pictures was a heart above, above the old Wrigley Field scoreboard. Hey everybody, we're in the lecture <laughs> hall now. Oh, um, another bit. one, it looks like a dolphin coming stringer. out of the sunset. And it everyone I've shown it to says it looks like a dolphin. So it was it was hilarious. I was taking all these pictures and I was passing my phone around. They're like, what are you seeing? Wow, where'd you see that? Then I'd point to it and all of a sudden you'd see like five people shooting the same thing. It was hilarious. Oh wow. wow. Oh, that's, fun. that's so cool. It was. I, I love oh. nature and pretty things and sunsets and sunrises are some of my favorite things. Awesome. I want to see the Northern Lights too. That's on my bucket list. That would be nice. That would be nice. They were supposed to be visible a little while back, all the way down here. Yeah. Yeah. Some places yeah. got a good show. I saw a little streak of green in my sky that night, but not enough to really claim it. Are there Northern Lights recipes? I'm going to have to Google that right now. I know tonight's is moochie and custard but i was just the stars and all of that i might may have to do some creative searching to find any recipes for northern lights very fun yeah they're pretty freaky when you see them baseline oh i lost my title <laughs> oh <laughs> you, you might not be able to oh. if you believe the baseline is something on a baseball field so does Base, me, baseball I need that one for happy. work? My team would appreciate that. <laughs> baseball makes me happy. Yes, you just went to a game last week. We did. We had a fun night. It was called Friday Night Party in the Park at Detroit Tigers. Um, anyone that ventures up to Michigan for a Friday night baseball game, you get party in the park with yummy food and drink specials. We had a 90s cover band playing all those ear what do they call them ear, earworms ear, ear, i was gonna say earwigs i'm like oh there's some things <laughs> i can kill i don't <laughs> like those earworms um all the all the all the songs from the 90s the band was right next to the table that, that we had our info table but and then we had fireworks afterwards tigers didn't win that was a bit of a bummer bit of a hard loss but hey you know it's still baseball it's still fun who were yeah. they playing who did the Can uh, kansas city now oh, they won okay. they won uh -huh. saturday um and they retired uh who was it jim leland oh, nice. retired um had a big retirement for him and then sunday i think they, so guy. they had a triple header three day with kansas city and they won saturday but lost friday and sunday but what can you do we're it's sorry, still baseball, and it's still White fun. Sox, you to one. <laughs> well, I just like baseball. It makes me. I happy. love I don't, baseball. I, I, I watch don't like teams that aren't mine. Prices. So, yeah, too fun, too too fun. Speaking Are the of Cubs, by chance playing at home this weekend? Um, I don't know. I can Google. <laughs> uh, no, I was, I know, Marcy do. <laughs> well, and. The Cubs are not, they're actually away this, well, they're here, they're not away away. They're mm -hmm. playing the White Sox the next two days, starting tomorrow. They were off today, and then they have an off day Sunday, and then they go on the road, so. Uh, okay. But that makes sense with the Nat DNC coming here, so. Oh, oh. That's why oh, the Air and Water Show is this weekend. It's normally the ah. second weekend in August. They moved oh. it up a week because of the DNC. <laughs> So, uh, Rick Paul, what what do you do up there in Detroit? What's going on with you? Yeah. Mute buttons over there. 
<laughs> I did find some Northern Lights cocktails while he's coming off mute. I know it's not the theme tonight, but it was a little inspired. Hey. Do we have to do that sometime? What? The Northern <laughs> Lights cocktails? Or well, the... we should do Northern Lights, man. There's the more... Did you guys see the Northern Lights in, in Kentucky um, when they, they came said, in in June? They said we could, and um, the weatherman on the news here said that his brother or brother-in-law or something in Florida saw the Northern Lights. Wow. That's I was in Ohio and we saw it. It was pretty cool. Wow. Um, uh, not not quite the the you know funky green, but um, it had really like bright pink. Um, but what was funny. cool was when you took a picture, you look up in the in the night sky like at eleven eleven thirty at night, um, and when you look up in the night sky, it it looked uh, from just looking, I couldn't really see. Um, see the the quote unquote northern lights, but when I took a picture with my cell phone, bam, they were right there. It was weird. It was really kind of oh, odd. Wow. Um, hmm. but cool. it was it was very fun to experience. Who knew? Super I, I want to see it. I will who see knew, it at some point. I saw one little streak of green, but we had clouds the one night, and I have too many lights around me, and to try to get somewhere where there aren't a ton of lights is too hard. Uh, I don't know where it was when why well, I didn't see it last time in June. I don't remember. Oh, that's more people joining. Yay. Yeah. No, I, did, I did see them now uh, once up in uh, northern Minnesota. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, Kathy. Mm -hmm. Yes, you were. I'm not uh, saying to you all. I'm saying shush to the pup. I'm going on mute. Oh, okay. Shush to me. I'm. I would not uh, be offended. <laughs> so, Kathy, anytime you hear shushing, it's probably the dog. I'll leave the dog. Okay. <laughs> so, Kathy, you had pulled together some amazing recipes, and I saw one from a Bill Powers as well. Do we want to take a peek at those before we get into Apps. the agile game? Absolutely. Let's see if my laptop wants to play with share screen now. Let's see. <laughs> well, it's always a mystery if it'll work. Challenge, huh? <laughs> okay. Do you guys see it? We see it. Yay. All righty. Well, my happy place also involves sand or lake shore. So loving, the, loving all the theme here. But we'll kick it off with the mochi. So my first experience with with mochi was um, going to dinner at a, a ramen place with my uh, youngest son in Huntsville, Alabama. Who knew? Um, and he ordered he ordered um, mo mochi for us, and I'm like, "What in the world is this?" But it was it was great because after you have a dinner and you just want something sweet, um, never had it before, but I definitely wanted have it again um, just the little rice um, rice balls with a very yummy filling so wow. awesome it Great. was kind of fun that that this was national mochi day so awesome. just a, a FYI sidebar for those of you who live in Chicagoland Benihana has them as one of their desserts that's where I had them um, oh, on my birthday oh, yeah. so Benihana. there might be Benihana in uh in eastern in, oh, southeastern Michigan, I don't. Know That's true. Called. They are across the country. I don't know where all, but but the Benihanas here have it. At least the Very one in cool. Wheeling does. That's the one I went to. So oh, cool. Yeah, looks cool, delicious. Cool. So I um I I don't know. Um, uh, this is one I think I would like to try. It doesn't sound too daunting, um, but I know the end results would be really worth the effort. So, uh, it doesn't look too bad. So, uh quick tip is to if you're going to use ice cream and we've got some uh, additions um, that you can try if you just don't want ice cream there's some other things you can try like Marcy was saying as well but their recommendation here is to um, use like a small ice cream ice cream scoop and freeze those little ice cream balls uh, before you get rolling you to make the mochi no pun intended on rolling yeah, 
<laughs> pretty much it's all going to just roll right together tonight. So, um, but um, again, it's a very sticky, um, I'm not sure mine would turn out. I don't know. I, yeah, I have no confidence in my cooking ability with this one, but I think it'd be worth trying. Um, very, very sticky, but just have some extra cornstarch or potato starch around um, in case it gets too, too sticky. Um, I'm so amazed uh, that they do it in the microwave, though. Wow. I know. Um, I'm in shock so, as I'm reading this. Right, right. Um, and um, very, very easy to do. Uh, just, you know, microwave it, fold the dough again, microwave it again. Um, they want it a little bit shiny <clears throat> just to kind of look for that kind of consistency or that way that it looks. Roll the dough out. Um, again, use the cornstarch for uh, dusting the, the ball so nothing sticks to it too much. Um, roll it out. You can use whatever, usually like a circular kind of cookie cutter um, for cutting out your dough. Um, this one has you, which I, I thought this was interesting. They really talk about... Um, cutting out like a square of plastic wrap and that way you get to really help pull it together um, before you throw it in the freezer for the final freezing set up um, so that it all stays together. I won't read everything. You guys will get the the PowerPoint with all the all the inter all the intricacies here. So um but just fun. So Give it a try. I I'm interested if anybody does, we'll have to, we'll have to ask. We should ask at the start of every time if anybody tried recipes from the pre previous session. So I will ask next time around. Um, but the nice thing about these that I really like is it's just a small little treat. Um, so it's not, you know, after you eat a big dinner, like if you do go to Benihana, you can have this and it's just enough to. It wasn't whistle. heavy. I, I was no, picturing it's, it's, it with being a dough thing. I was picturing it being heavy and it's not. I, I don't no. know how to describe it, but. Is it the well, size of an egg or a baseball? Um, uh, smaller. I would say the size of a um, like a. A, a buckeye? Golf, a golf ball. Like yeah. Between a buckeye and a golf ball. Okay. I would agree. Just. Yeah, it was a lot smaller than I thought, but like two you don't bites. need a big one. So. No, it was like a two bite kind of, you know, kind of yeah. thing. So um, did you just, to, just go to ahead. Jump, may I jump in for a sec? Um, sure. The, the, in order to get the three inch rounds, if you don't have a cookie cutter, you may have a small glass. So if you take a glass and turn a glass upside down and then just yep. rotate it back and forth, that's a really good way to do cookies. That's what we wind up doing when we make commentation and for quorum is to Excellent. cut them out with an upside down glass and you just get the right size of your dough and yep. you do it around without having to do the cookie cutter and a glass will actually clean off better than the cookie cutters because the cookie cutters always get a little that's bit true. of that dough. So cookie cutters right. are a pain to clean. I like that idea. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's, that's good. Idea. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Poor man's cookie cutter, huh? It sounds like it's better than a cookie cutter. I was going to say, better. I think I'd like it better because I remember cleaning my grandma's cookie cutters and I still have them. Right, wow. right in that. Maybe I'll hang them for decorations and use together. a glass the next time. <laughs> if, you're, if you're doing round, definitely go with a glass. Yeah. And plus two, I mean, you have probably lots of glasses, so lots of participation, right? Oh, yeah. So it's not like one cookie cutter, you take turns, everybody can can go for it. That's definitely true. And I've got all, a lot of similar glasses, so. Yep. so I remember yeah. making them. Um, uh, we made fortune cookies when I was a kid. Those were always fun. And that's what we did as well with that. Um, used a, a a glass, perfect size for that. So uh, that's excellent. Um, yeah. Um, so here you can use ice cream or sorbet. Um, uh, Nutella, you know, why not? Um, peanut butter, chocolate, fresh strawberries. Um, and again, I wasn't reading, um, Marcy, I thought it was interesting when you said with the, the other filling, um, I was seeing more of the dessert kind of stuff, but you really can do, you know, uh, you know, beans and meat and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, this I thought was fun. If you want to give a little color or flavor to the dough, um, whatever whatever is of interest to you is fair game. So um, a fun little treat. So my uh, my curiosity was where where can we go to get to get mochi? So I did a quick little thing and I pulled up um, the oh, ten, ten, 10 best places to find mochi um, in uh, Chicago, Detroit. And oh, there's a mochi grass. near me. I haven't Thank been you. to that yet. Huh. It's awesome. So uh, I, don't uh, see and Kathy's, it, I don't see Kathy's house where she ships them to us. <laughs> yeah. That's well, only Buckeyes. I have the Buckeye Bakery here in Connor I'm ready County. for Buckeyes again. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did notice um, what I loved, and I know, Marcy, you talked about it too, is they make these uh, mochi nuts or mochi nuts, yeah. um, like donuts. Um, That's what and, they were talking about on the morning show today. And I laughed because I knew we were talking about this tonight. So, Well, and what cracks me up is, um, this is taking me back to when my kids were little, is they remind me of teething rings. Um, yeah. Because yeah. they look like those little, <laughs> the little, you know, plastic teething rings yeah. you throw into the freezer. That's true. Um, and the ones they showed on TV looked like that too. I yeah. put it together. I kept thinking hopefully they reminded they me taste... of something. I couldn't figure out what. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they taste better than teething rings. Yeah. <laughs> well, the anchors who tried them seemed to really <laughs> like them. So <laughs> now I did, I did notice like Whole Foods Market. Um, and I know um, we've got Whole Foods here. Um, and I know Marcy, you said you got it at Benny Hanna's. Um, yeah. so, but I, I just thought it was kind of interesting that it, you know, a lot of these places are popping up with doing this on not just, Trader not just Joe's. restaurants, but, um, bakeries and then, okay. Louisville, uh, the mochi dog. Okay. We're going to have to do a little road trip. That one just sounds kind of fun. Does um, yeah. Has anybody so been there? Guys, to you the guys, mochi dog? I have no idea where it is. Okay. Mochi dog. <laughs> mochi dog. Um, Mr. Toadhood. So um, you can have fun with this. Just Google mo mochi near me, basically. Um, so have fun with that. Um, this is great. Norman put a good oh, comment oh. In, in the chat, too. And I, I think this is interesting. Um, cites Mr. Donut as the chain that popularized them. Oh, according wow. to Wikipedia, that's interesting. Oh, wow! How the, mo fun is that? the mochi, the mochi donuts for the yeah. mochi donuts. Yeah. yeah, who knew? That's funny, though. Interesting, coolest thing. Wow. Um, so I will stop there for uh, if I can get my machine to now. I want a donut. I, yeah, I exactly. I, oh, here we go. <laughs> looked it up there. and I'm like, they look pretty, about pretty darn good. There's a hole in your reasoning. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, keep them coming. Keep them coming. <laughs> I do dad jokes um, all year long. <laughs> Love it. Um, so again, we'll have, uh, and I'll, I'll go into the, the custard and some of the additional recipes later on, but um, that's just to get us started on. That is awesome national mochi day perfect it looks amazing so aaron put together a uh an amazing agile uh it's is it's a, is it a game aaron is it a ex agile experience how would you describe it's a game. what we're doing tonight it it is a game it is a game uh, okay illustrate the usefulness and the power of agile delivery Okay. All right. So throughout this game, or maybe thereafter, we also wanted to, and I don't think it's a poll, but it, in, it is a more of a conversation because it is today, one of the themes is happiness. We were also going to talk about things if people wanted to share their experience about, you know, something that has brought them happiness, things that they would like to have to bring them happiness, or just some general uplifting theme and of course if you don't have something uplifting you can share whatever you want but uh we'll try to make it a, a happy experience for everybody so so we'll sprinkle that in if any, if everybody's interested uh while we're doing this but aaron take it away okay hey, what about my creme brulee 
We I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to that afterwards. Oh, okay. so we have to yes. that's our teaser, Bill. You're oh, our okay. teaser to make everybody stay. Mm. <laughs> I'm licking right. my lips thinking about it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we hold the good stuff till the end, Bill. Yeah. And I always Mom's look looking at me going, wait question. a minute, mom's licking her lips. What's in it for me? So <laughs> So Bill, what email address do you want me to use? You have access to right now. Uh, Daddy. Uh, you can send it to, uh, well, send it to my work one. Okay. That's the one I had in. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. How are you? Welcome. So, and, and we have someone here named HB. <laughs> he or she didn't want to put in her, his, her full name, so. Or yeah. there. B. <laughs> He's here, his, her, or there. His, her, there. <laughs> That's a valid point. All right. I sent an email out to everybody. Um, it's a Hi. link to a mural board. So go to your email and just click that link. It'll ask you to create an account. So you come in, but it'll give you edit authority. And you'll need edit authority to play this game. But you go ahead and do that while you listen to me. And... Um, I'll explain what the game is and everything while everybody's getting logged in. It's looking like we got a lot of people in here already. So, do, 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 do. it's not telling me who everybody is. That's Steph. Okay, so keep working on getting in here and that, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. So, I requested edit access. I haven't been given edit access yet. Mm -hmm. Da, da, da. Same thing. Mine shows that access was requested, but it doesn't show it approved yet. So you didn't like my picture. <laughs> Aww. You deleted my picture. All right, that's fine. Let's <laughs> put it back again. <laughs> Sponsorship. <laughs> I don't see me in here. I see my my initials. Thank you. This is a uh, wonderful. Can you can you see me out there? Oh, am I? I guess I can look on that screen. Um. Do any of I'm you all in, get? But it doesn't let me edit. Do any of you all get a message saying, "Uh, you've reached the maximum number of murals. Upgrade your oh. free your free plan." Uh oh. oh. That's what mine yeah. says. It's at the top of the mural. That's mine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yours? Okay. So I got a free account here. I'm only allowed three murals, which I have on my account at the moment. So okay. I've got this one. Don't worry about that and that. Um, I'm, I don't plan to pay them anything. <laughs> um, so here's, here's the game. It plays in three rounds. We're going to play here on team one. So we were all set up if we had more attendees than that. Uh, looks like, you know, we had five people here that you can play, you know, just with one team because you need at least four members and of your team in that. So there's four roles in that. So you need an analyst who will start in the first round or the first box here. And this is called flip the coin. And the way we're going to flip a coin is if, when you click it, this toolbar comes up and you can change the color. And it doesn't matter what color you change it to, you just change the color. And that, that's what we're going to call flip the coin. Once you flip it, you move them over to the developer. The developer takes it and he does exactly the same thing. And, uh, you know, there's 20 coins in your thing, right? Yeah, 20 um, in your thing. In this first round, we call waterfall. You have to flip all 20 coins Get them all and flip them, flip them. When you change color, change them all to the same color. These are not psychedelic coins. <laughs> Aww. So yeah, just flip them all blue, gray, whatever you're going to, to pick, pick them all to one color. Then the developer, you can change it back to yellow or change them to another color and that, but in the first round, change all 20 of them and then move all 20 of them to the next one. Then we have a tester. 
And the tester will do the same thing. Flip all four, 20 of them, and then flip all 20 to the done. The fourth role is our product owner. It's all described up here in our role roles. Describe um, the product owner accepts the work. So you set the criteria. If you want them all in a nice row like this, and you know they have to be in rows and columns and that, that's what you expect, um, then that's fine. You communicate that to the team and they got to straighten it out. Um, who, who put a llama in here? I did. <laughs> um, I still can't access the I'm sorry. I, I was I was listening, but I got distracted with uh, a llama and a happy thing and a mountain. So I like the mountain, yes. Uh, but who's putting button in there? <laughs> oh, um, yeah. So you got three team members to flip the coins, move them along. Tester will move them into done. The product owner accepts them. You know, if, if it's okay with you to be, they're all mangled all over the place, sitting on top of each other and all that. Then okay. And that you're also the timekeeper. So you keep the total time from the time the first, the analyst touches the first coin to the time that you accept the, the, the work done in the done column. Understand? So I'm mm -hmm. gonna record that total time right up here. So we'll get some time peaks up that it has seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that you can keep the time and that. So the product owner does that. When we go into round two, um, this uh, I, I call scrum fall. You don't have to wait till you completed all 20 or flipped all 20 of them to a separate color. You, if you wanna do a row, and move those four over. If you wanna do it one at a time, you could do that. Uh, if you wanna do it by column and flip five of them over and then move that to the developer so that they could get started working before you're fully completely done. Make sense? The do we, rest of the role, do we know what role we are? Um, well, we have five people. Okay. So, our, besides our uh, organizers, and oh, we only dropped down to six. Yeah, but I just got a text that Bill thinks he's lost internet. So, oh no, I'm it's stuck back. with the Zoom control panels in the middle of the screen. It's I go back to navigation settings and it puts me back to what am I going to use the keypad or the mouse? It won't let me out of this. I'm in an endless loop. Uh -huh. He also seems to have fallen off, so maybe you don't have a happy birthday for somebody. I don't know. <laughs> so we got what Norman, Sandra, Kathy, Kathy Lee left. Yeah, it looks like we lost Kathy Lee. So a couple of us organizers are going to have to play and have uh, to make a well, team. It can't be me because I can't get out of the let's nope. get you set up. <laughs> well, so, I feel like I was successful because I put a llama on this board. So yes, you're All successful. Right, Steph, you're in. So you, you, I can't even see the board around this thing that's popped up on my screen. And I, I the save move. button to get out of it is grayed out. <laughs> so go out and come back in. Um, okay. Marcy. And uh, so you were so successful, Steph, you could start as the analyst. When we get oh, no. roll, oh, we're going to switch roles. Okay. So we don't want you to get used to being in one role in that. Whoever was the timekeeper is going to work on the board, you know, in the second round and that okay. um, someone else will be the product owner timekeeper. Hmm. Okay. Third so round. you tell me when to start. Third round is agile, full agile. Those two rounds, round one and two, were push. You complete the work, mm -hmm. push mm -hmm. the next person. Agile was pull. So the developer is watching what the analyst is doing. When they get a certain amount of work done and you want it, you pull it to your column, do it your work there. All you got to do is pull it to you, flip the coin. Then the tester is going to pull it to him or her. And then um, the tester does have to move it over to the done. The product owner doesn't move the, the work. They just accept mm -hmm. 
Okay. So what we're hoping to see is reduced time in each one of these things. We'll see if we get there. Okay, so All right. Tell me, tell me uh, when to start. Well, we need to know who else is playing. So we still only got six people here. So I'm still stuck. I went out and came back in. I've got the same issue. Yeah, so. I uh, I can't get it to. Uh, I can't move. I don't. Yeah. I don't get that flag where you said to be able to edit that. That doesn't uh, oh, show Norman. on my page. Can yeah. you click on a? Can you click on a coin? No, I can't move out of the box yet. Because I don't. I when I come Oops. in, it just says to come in. It doesn't have that ability to edit. On the top, did you see um did you see a a, a thing saying request access? Because I needed to request access and then Aaron gave me no. access. From my uh from my email it says says a join mural. Mm -hmm. And so I click on join mural, right? And when I join mural, I go right to uh, you guys. It says warming up. And now I'm in the game with you guys, but it didn't have that edit function to, for me to select. Did you make create an account? Because I am seeing you can view. I see you here. Yeah, you I see my name here. Pages. Profile. Yeah, I, create. I could be able to change you to can edit from here. Mine Let's doesn't say create. can edit either. Let's see. Change to connect. Point, Let's see, where are you? I don't know if we need to do it down here either. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, oh, it's, it's, not okay. Your fault. it's okay. I'm stuck in that other screen where it wants me to choose whether I'm using a mouse or whatever, and it won't let me do the different things to get out of it. So I'm watching on the actual Zoom. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm um, I registered. Let's see, workspace. Yeah, it says you came in as a visitor. Let me check in. I don't think I got a connection request. Norman joined your mural. I'm there. I'm there. Okay. Sandra joined. Yeah. Sandra, you can flip a coin. You can turn a color. No, I can't get out of the box. If you move the flywheel on your mouse, does it make it bigger, the whole thing bigger or smaller? You can zoom out. Yeah, Sandra, you got can edit, so you should be able to do things. Oh, there's Sandra. I see you on there now. Yeah, but when I push on it, I can't. My hand doesn't um uh, doesn't move the my my oh. image. See, I'm trying to. It doesn't work. Try to right click. Tried the mouse. Yeah, so, I mean, I so when I move, you're, you're correct. I can expand the screen and make it larger. Um, but oops. Um, but when I actually, uh, let's see, is it the it's left? Right clicking button? on a coin. Let me see here. I see you. Click on a coin. Yeah, my but uh, my name isn't there though, right? Your name is there for us. My name isn't there for me, but you can see me right near you. Right? Um, I see you. Yeah, you're in purple. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you're just, you're in brown for me. But but for me, I just see a, a hand with a pointer finger sticking up for myself. Okay. So I assume similarly, like you're over development, you're over analysis. You just change the size of a coin. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just took it out. <laughs> Oh. All right, now I stuck it over in developer. No, we don't want anything over there yet. Oh, okay, sorry. I'll cover it up so you can't see it. Yeah, you didn't see <laughs> that. I'm looking. <laughs> look away, look away. Look away. Just delete oh, it. So you're, here, you're, I moved it away. Here, like it, it never happened. It's it's gruesome though. <laughs> oh, it, it, it had a snack along the way. We could give it. It to had a mo mom. it had a mochi. It, it ate too many mochi. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's sleeping under the stars. That's right. Yeah. Give it to the llama. The llama wants it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All mm. right. Anybody else still having trouble with? I'm stuck, but I'll just watch from the Zoom. Yeah, I'll I just, in the I chat mean, got... what I'm stuck on, and it will not undo it. I've gone out. I've come back in. It just hmm. this whole pop up wants me to accept which way I'm going to do the the movement, but yet it won't actually do the thing to let me do it, so that I can check it off and hit the save button. The be save button's grayed out. Does escape get you anywhere? The escape nope. key. Hmm. Okay. I've tried all the ones that I usually can use, and it's it's just stuck. It's right there in the middle of my screen, so I can't even see the board. Mm -hmm. But I can see the board on the Zoom. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just in view mode, so I will watch, or I can I can be timekeeper, um, kind of thing. Uh, so can't you can, or or you know, do anything can. Be to be the product owner. Sure. Hey, it's eight eight <laughs> and eight. Oh, eight eight and eight o'clock. Eight eight eight. Here we go. Wow. For some of us, it's only seven, seven here. <laughs> we have another hour <laughs> oh, to go. Another hour. Or, or, we'll come or back. eight eight and seven. You yeah, know exactly. Seven's my lucky number, though, so that's oh, not all bad. Go. Here we go. Du -du. Let's see, you guys might have been down at the bottom. I'm M Watts 14 shows can't, no edits. Norman, can you do things now? I can, I believe I can. So should should you someone should one of the uh, product people who can't time at least? I'll I start can time. That's no and, problem. Well, hold on. Uh, Sandra can trouble. Yeah, with, Sandra yeah Mar move. Marcy and I can time. Absolutely. And I can move it over, and maybe Sandra can change the color once it gets into once I get all 20 into development cool okay well, yeah, it sounds like a plan what are, yeah. I'm looking for kathy where are you kathy i'll what? just time okay let's let's try playing this sounds cool something yeah. about me and mural it's like me and share screen i think <laughs> it's my laptop <laughs> i'm gonna say it's my laptop i my my work team says i have a gremlin i have a new laptop at work and it has some of the same issues my old one did so it's got to be in my profile. So they're like, I have a gremlin that's just permanently part of me. Never, ever feed it after midnight. <laughs> I don't. I, I haven't. Oh, but they swear that I've poured water on it. <laughs> oh. All right. Let no, me... You don't do waterfall at work. I know. <laughs> oh. We do scrum fall. Water at waterfall. <laughs> we right. do agile, but we have to wait for the DOI to approve everything to send it out. So. Oh, okay. So our analyst is is that Steph or Norman? Doesn't matter to me. I thought I'd do analyst, and then uh, we'll see who's who's next. All right, Steph, you take the developer. You got it. And Sandra can be testing. Okay, I'll Under, be tester. Okay, and then our product owner is Kathy. I can't. Oh, well, I'm just timing, so yep. I can't do nothing on the screen. So. All right, but you you tell them whether you accept it in the done column. If you want it all straight and everything, then you tell the team to straighten it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can you do get that. To boss it around, Kathy. Oh, oh, I can do that. May may you all of us straighten, boss. or is it only the tester who straightens, who passed it on? I think Norm, you and I are going to go help. We'll we'll okay. just pretend that uh, you know we're we're just reviewing. We're doing a little late QA. Okay, sounds good. All right, ready to go? Cool. Yeah, let's ready. try it. All right, go. Start that clock. All right, start it. You clicking it, Norman? There I'm you go. It. That's an interesting line I didn't mean to put there. Now, do, do I pull it over? Not nope. until nope. I'm done with the first. Not until he's all done. Okay. You don't pull until the third um, round. This is all push, and he's got to do all 20 of them first. Wow. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Isn't this fun? Like We're getting it. faster at doing leave, them, though. Yeah, leave yeah. the lines. Right. I, mean, I don't think we get penalized for the lines or for the. the I'm undoing no. the lines after they show up. <laughs> that might be good because they hard telling if they'll move with the thing when you try to get them over to. I don't want to wanna know. I'm just trying to go I don't want to know. You'll cross that bridge when you get there, right? 
<laughs> another day to make my rent. I think he's doing it faster than uh, what he's it. Doing, oh, he's no. doing excellent. He's getting better. Yeah, he's doing good. He's figured it out. Thank you. Go, analyst, go. Swing and a miss, strike one. <laughs> All right, I missed one here too, but okay. Sometimes we don't do our work in the same, you know, the order that's on the board. No. This is true. Yeah. All right, Steph, you're up. No, Norman, you have to oh. move up to development. Oh, that's true. He's got oh, to move Norman's them. Got I'm to move supposed it. to move them? Okay. Yep, you got to move them over for your We're still turn them and move them. them. Fine. <laughs> they're the, they're the line. Fine, you know. Okay. I don't know if it's going to allow me to, to delete it. What do we... I now I get to start, can board. I start changing the color or not until they're all not there? Until they're all there. Yeah, I'm not quite straight. Nope. Well, product owner isn't judging yet. Nope. <laughs> no judging here. This is a oh, no oh. judge zone. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll we'll see see you're a nice testing. product owner. Woo! Yeah, I could get I can get rid of the line apparently. My developer would like you, Kathy, because she doesn't like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, she ignored the fact that I asked for negative tests today and wanted me to to declare the story done, and I sent it back for my negative tests. I'm like, no, I got to make sure my homeowner policy still works there if I have go. my new yeah. policy. All they're, right, step they're over there. Up. Slightly messy, but they're there. Here we go. We we take messy at this row. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. Aaron needs to move nice his, and pink. his finger away from where I'm at. He was trying to get rid of the lines. Okay, well, he's 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 impeding my progress. He's becoming a blocker. <laughs> no blockers, no blockers. Too many, too many cooks in the kitchen. No whammies. I'm gonna go get the scrum master. I'm gonna go get the scrum master and tell him you're blocking me. I'm gonna do that. Can't we all just get along? Folks? The scrum master <laughs> needs to intervene and and uh, help me get my velocity up. Uh oh. These are dark <laughs> ones. <laughs> what would you say? It's a fun it's color. You know, are chocolate. What are you, about? you know I like hot pink. Uh oh. Yep. Delete. Okay. You keep flipping while I'll take care of the. Yeah. I think you need to stay out of my way. I'm going to talk to the scrum master here. The developer is being very proprietary over her work. <laughs> Looks like it. Developers like to keep their heads down, man. They don't need they don't need intervention. They, they just want unless you know, you're my developer work. and then you bug me every two seconds all day asking questions that I'm like read the story the answer is right there <laughs> what if I can't read no, what if I can't read <laughs> we're not going there <laughs> there's nothing that over there that said I had to know how to read <laughs> just said I had to be able to have nimble fingers okay I'm working it working it I'm, I'm almost there you're I'm almost no there. pressure uh -oh. Oh, 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 lost oh. one. Well, one, one dropped. escaped. Ah. One dropped. There we go. All right. Looks like a bonus one. <laughs> yeah. It did look like a bonus one, didn't but, it? Somebody put an extra story in. Not noticing. She thinks it's a lot of toys on the screen. Do you see her watching the screen? It's pretty <laughs> hilarious. All right. Now I get to move them to testing. All right. Move to test. Look at that. Go. Go, Steph. Go. Go, Ooh. Steph. Go. Yep. No pressure here, man. No pressure. Oops. oops. Well, that's it. Just oh. move the board. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, can I do that? That would Ooh, be just awesome. move the board over. There you go. <laughs> exactly. It's like you didn't yeah. say I could move the board. Well, that'll get it to over. testing. Thinking right? out of the box. I love that. Just mm -hmm. move the box. Flip them over. to say, this is not working. How do we fix it? <laughs> They're not pretty yet. Okay. Can the, can the tester... Do you need the developer to be precise or do you just need things to be there? Because I, I I would I can For now it's I don't think you have to be precise until Kathy says what she wants and done. So go, right, Sandra. Yours. <laughs> You're up, okay. Sandra. Okay. Test away. Okay. Testing. Testing. <laughs> I'm not Button's giving a big sigh. She's like, why can't I get those balls? I don't understand. I know. It's like, yeah. So many balls. Is it a big ball? Is it a big ball on the screen? Yeah. Are you ordering them or are you coloring them? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I can color them. Color. That may be to put them in an order because they're kind of messy here. 
It, well, you're going to move them to the next one. Oh, okay. So if you do colors right, first. Let's I think. pick. Um, yeah, I should. Put speed is the. Uh, yeah, turn them back to yellow. Oh, green. There you go. Green. 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 Yeah. The pretty the color green. green. Nice lime green. That is a pretty. Yeah. Green. Key lime I feel. I feel like you sent them back for rework, so I'm going to come here and like put them in order. Yeah. Okay. Like I had some defects or something. Huh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Boom, 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 down, down here. How do I make it stay? To, 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 do you have to keep going back to the color and then back up here to change it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Click on one. You go up to the top where you have the background color. You change. Click on that color and then it changed to the other color. Okay. See, if we were smart, we would hold down our control key, highlight them all, and just move them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Give it a try. Like so staff, here's one that the uh, developer threw back over the wall. <laughs> I didn't throw oh, anything back. So, so hey, um, Norm, yeah. when we do yeah. this next time, if we use our control key and click on each one, we can just pop them over. Yeah. Ooh, there you go. That's velocity. how you can pull them off. Yep, That's you good. can pull them all, select them all, and we'll move them. I just mm -hmm. don't know how, how neat they have to be. We haven't heard yet. Well, the the yeah, the product. Uh, so, what's the product owner expecting from us? Neatness or? Uh... Hey, I'm just looking for him to be in the done column. You know. Okay. Do you need them sequenced of any way? Do you need any tagging on them? I Do just you... need them over that line. Okay. All right. I'm pretty easy to please. Oh uh, yeah. I was gonna say I want to work for day. you, Kathy. <laughs> So, so can I make you one of my senior managers, please? Because you're much more reasonable than they are. Yeah. Well, I, I agree with Kathy because it, maybe we need to improve the tool and focus more on the quality of the story and less on the the board, right? So that our, our board needs to, we need to do some filtering. and. So Sandra, you, you could put them all on top of each other when you put them over and done. Doesn't sound like the product owner. You know? <laughs> no, I just want them across that line. I am very right. easy. You know, today is the day to be happy. And right. I think Especially crossing now. the line makes me happy. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's pretty easy. It may depend on the end of this. Do we have to color them when they're done? Or is it just the uh, nope. a, a new color? or Nope. Just get them into the done and okay. the product owner accept them. Okay. Oops, turn it off. Oh, there you go. I like that. There you go. I don't know how I did that. There's there's no extra points for turning. So so Norm, yes. Highlight them all, then click the color, and while they're still highlighted, move them. Okay. So right. So it's your. Oh man, you guys are going. You're getting clever on this. You're highlighting them. Once you highlight them all, click the color, and then swoop them over. See. I'm, but I'm not I'm not the testing person. No, but I'm just saying when it's next your turn. When it's but, your turn next. When we go into round two. But, oh, you're saying? When we go into round two and we do this again with a different Round approach. two, we're going to do it one by one. No, round two, you or can do say, like a, do a row or a group. Can you, can, can you click, wait, Sandra, can you click six of them? Can you click yes. two of them and change their color at the same time? Yes, that's what I'm saying. You put Hold the control key down and then click yeah. but I'm watching Aaron laughing in the background. <laughs> it's like they're really doing one point at a time. Yeah, hit your control key. Yeah. You click on it and then yeah. still hold it down and then click on the next one. And then the next one and then hit the color then. But nope. that's not changing one coin at a time the way it says we're supposed to. Well, you well, know, you I click are. one at a time. I, you know. You still are because you're clicking each one individually. Yes. But you're not oh, changing you one at a time. You're changing them in on mass. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem to work like the. Uh, hmm. oh, oh, what happened there? Oh, I like the purple. That's my color. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, oh, we're there almost done. Go. Okay. There you go. Three more to go. Sandra, you're doing awesome. Ugh. Doing awesome. Yeah. We'll change this egg. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so the second one, you don't have to wait. You can send them over under round two. Okay. We're reading ahead, I see. <laughs> I am. I'm prepping for the next sprint. 
See, making good use of your time when your I job know. is done, you you look ahead. I like oh, that. How come it's not? I can't get these guys or not. Huh. Somebody wants to jump in and help Sandra. Yeah, I want to get the light. I just can't. They're not changing. I can't get it to change. We can help. I'm not doing right. What color? What color? Green. I'm, I'm, I'm green. Color. I'm colorblind. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Oops, that's, oh, that's not oh, it. Or just hide them, you know. Last one. <laughs> we can do it. Somebody, one more green. There we go. Okay. All right. Now throw them into done. Just move the line. <laughs> so Stephanie yeah. doing that? I can well, I'm not the tester, but I, I, I can... like the purple camel. Oh, so to move them? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Move Move them over into done. There we go. Oh, Aaron was I taking don't know. <laughs> See? That's what I'm say saying. All righty. Look at that. I, I Are we all allowed it to looks, move them? Well, everybody throw them over into done. And then we can try the route. It's called teamwork makes the dream work. You know? Yeah, there you go. Lines. I love it. I love it. And we will call it done at 1227. I, I want them stacked up, man. Oh, you want them nicer? Well, okay. Go ahead. We'll, we'll keep going. Go for it, Aaron. Hey. No, that's on his own time. If he's the scrum master, he can clean his board up on his own time. <laughs> uh, did, uh, what time did you say? I said 1227. It's not let 12 me... minutes 27. Oh, there it is. 12 27. And you know, if you click on all of them, you can arrange them into a grid. There you oh. go. There you go. Someone read the directions. All right, 12 27. So right. now. There we are. We got our first one done. So round uh, two looks round like two. Uh, sounds like Steph's going to move to an analyst. She seems to have control of the board. Okay. How to do it in that? Um, we... Okay. So the the question is is I can do them one at a time. Do I have to wait for one at a time? You have to flip the coins one at a time. It doesn't say you you do not have to wait till all twenty of them are flipped before you move them to development. So you could flip flip it and move it or flip four of them and move four. Okay. All right. them started. And that, and that okay. way develop, are we going? Yep. One, two, uh, three, go. Who's, wait, uh, who's next? Yeah, and, or the developer, let's just move along or to the left. So Sandra will be the developer. And do we have anyone okay. who could, could do the board? Or does I can do the board. Norman? So we'll we'll third. tester we'll do norm. Keep moving them stuff. I'm I'm Can doing it. I'm doing it. Give me a break, man. You're being bossy. Bossy. <laughs> it keeps you those lines and everything. Lines in there. They're, in there. They're, They're so annoying. Top left. Oh my god, the lines. Yeah, those the lines, lines, the lines. <laughs> you put a line there, you can control Z as soon as you see it and right. get rid of it. Well, part, oh, okay. part of it is, and I'm going to be polite, is that when people are hovering over the dots, I actually can't see the dots. Do, oh. do you see what I'm saying? So, there like, if to help me out. Um, Stay out of your way. Stay away. Yes, yes, you can please. Also zoom in. Stay make, away. Make the section bigger. Make the board bigger. Make the board bigger, yeah. and then you can more easily see where you're clicking. So Sandra, now that some are in development, you can change them and move them over to testing. You don't have to wait for Steph to be all done. Correct. Okay. So Sandra, go ahead and get started on the five that are in your seven that are now in your columns. And you can, you can move them to testing whenever you wish. Okay. Move them one at a time. Oh, oh Steph, you're making good progress. Thank you. There's three at a time there. Look at that. Good progress. Oh, They're look at flying. that. Go. 
Button has dinner now. She's happy. Analysis. <laughs> All right, Steph, good job. Thank you. I, I occasionally, you know, blind squirrel finds a nut once, <laughs> once in a while. You got one covered up here. <laughs> okay. All right, Norm can move it over to Don, Norman. Change him and Move it to done. Woohoo! Look at I'm that. Time it. is flying. Wow. You're starting to get work done already. I'm impressed. Want some help there, uh, Sandra? <laughs> yeah. I'm a little slow. Yeah. Just keep flipping colors. Okay. Well, look Don't at... flip out. Oh. <laughs> what happened there? It 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 is harder than it looks. I'm just I bet it, it is. is. It's, I, I mean, bet it is. Oh, I get there, right? frustrated because yeah. I still have a big square over my screen and I can't get yeah. rid of it. <laughs> it's like, oh, it should be so easy. I'll just yeah. do these things I'm like you. <laughs> mm. Why is it the simple things are hard? <laughs> I think it's like you got to have supreme mouse mouse control. Like you got to be yeah. like a. Like, so are you guys clicking the circle and then clicking the color or clicking yeah. the color and then clicking the circle? Click the circle first. Click yeah. the circle, then click the color. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you have to click, you know, what you Yeah. You're changing. I'm just seeing the end results. So you guys are impressing me. <laughs> Big time. Like, me too. I have enough trouble when I use or, mural or, at work. <laughs> go team. Come on, team. Okay. You guys, so get team like is a going great. Once in a while, click the circle and then click the color. Huh? Oh, look at like a now. She is making the rose. Yeah, I lost. We we lost a story. Oh, we there's the story. Got covered up. Okay, we lost a story. Oh no! I periodically wish I could lose stories at work. Oh, and the oh. llama just turned purple. Loving that. I like the purple llama. Leave the llama alone. Purple's my favorite color. <laughs> purple llama. <laughs> you know, these, these sessions aren't quite the same for me unless there's like some emoji, some type of thing. You, know? <laughs> you got something. Uh, I want a purple button now. <laughs> you want a purple button? Here you, Norman. I'm waiting for some for something. I don't know why I'm waiting. There we go. Oh, I figured out why I can't use it because they're not, some of them are moved around like on an angle. So it want, only wants it to be if it's like perfectly. Okay, there we go. Oh. Learning all kinds of things about this. Yeah, yeah. I got to play around in mural. Because we usually do mural, M I R O, not M U R A L. Mural. Okay. Hmm. I've okay. seen this before. It's a new tool, you know? Something new to play with. Yeah. Okay, well, somewhat of organized, not perfect. I, I struggle. One more. All righty. All righty. There you go. One over, Sandra. Oh, yeah, last I'll get one, that one over. Yay. All right. Go, you. Norman. Norman, I think Norman's going to grab them all, change them all, move them all. That's right. just my guess. I think I'm getting the background color to be black, but <laughs> okay. Well, if you turn the black room color to black, it looks like it's all done then. <laughs> we won't be able to tell. You guys will be extremely impressed with this time. I was assuming we can get this going. Extremely impressed with this time. Hey, it's it's pretty more organized there. Yeah. Two more. A little messy here. Last one. There's Cheerleader something missing. Cheering. We got There's something missing. All, our, oh, it could be like on top one, of each other or something. Oh, yeah, we lose maybe. one? Or I could cheat and copy paste something. <laughs> is it, is it over here one? this big green dot over here no that's that's the old egg that w was uh yellow that i recolored to green a while oh okay are they accepted kathy 
Well, we've lost one. Here. That's okay. probably underneath another one. If it's all yeah. here. It's all there. I'm gonna call it day and the time is six fifty seven. You guys are amazing. Wow. That's like almost seven twenty four or eight twenty four, depending yeah. on the time zone. Yeah. There you go. One so, of those two things. Less than half. Well, not quite less well, than almost half the time. All right, here is push. So we're starting, Sandra will be the analyst. Uh, yeah. um, Norman, I think is developer and Steph is the tester. Okay. And um, Marcy, you wanna be the product owner? You wanna time Marcy? Sure. Cool. Just pulling up my stopwatch. Okay. Now this, the difference in this one is that you push. <laughs> Or, or poll, I mean. So as Sandra turns the color, Norman, you grab it and you bring it into the development area. Then you flip the color. And oh, there you go. Stephanie will grab that and move it over to her testing area. And, and all of us grab it and put it into the end area? What's that? Any of us can grab it and put it into the end area once Stephanie oh, turns the color? Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, okay. All right, that's good. Yes. Get ready, team. Are we so ready? Let me know when you're ready, and I'll hit start. Okay. Ready, set. Ready, and... set, go. Okay. Go, go, go. <laughs> I see colors. Okay. Orchid color go. An avatar come up when you when you grab a thing and move it, Norman. <laughs> yeah. The only thing is I can't see the done column at all. No. There we go. Hey, we'll hey, hey. Worry about that when uh yeah, when they get more over there. Part of them over there. <laughs> I can see it on my bigger screen, Marcy. So well, you oh, can be my right. second set of eyes then if I can't see when it gets done. <laughs> can zoom out and show it. I okay. see it now. Yeah. Yeah. It's not letting me multi-select at the moment, which is being yeah. Really Ooh, you're about oh. to delete an area. Don't delete the work team. No, don't delete the work team. Those stupid lines. <laughs> Oops. Too fun. Things are moving. Yes, they are. Look up, but look, all three of them are active right now. I nice know. That. That's working. a good thing. Lines are a nuisance. Yeah. Somebody turned the color of the board again. Yeah, I did. <laughs> the lines are like the obstacles you face in real work. <laughs> That's yeah. the barriers you get. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the board was moving on me. Wow. Yeah, it's like, wow. Like the Titanic. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I got to give them back. Okay. Surprise I'm nobody. The white right ones. Okay. The white yeah. ones. Surprise nobody ever uh, grabbed the board and moved it to the left instead of moving <laughs> the board. It's my mind if I was able to do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not moving. There you go. Yeah. Making progress. Yeah. Ooh, a whole batch went. Wow. Wow. Good multi selection. I want you all on my team because you're getting work done fast. And I've got a there lot of. Go. I'm over capacity, so I need y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at how many are already. All I can say is. I really test... need you guys because we're running the Testing hot is two going to fast. Get a new project out. <laughs> Yeah, testing so is going extremely extremely fast well the dev dev is doing a great job so there's no defects or rework so we're just blazing through this there you go yeah, i like I no defects that's my mantra there you go all righty right look at that all in development yeah yeah well you guys are fast making it If we had done this in the opposite order, though, the question is, how well would we do? Yeah. 
because we've gotten better at changing colors and moving things than we were before <laughs> in general. Yeah. I feel like, oh, there you go. I used to be able to multi select and I can't multi select at this point. Norm, I, oh. need help. I need help organizing the bubbles. All righty. So I went to straight to the test. Those ones and... that just went over. Or you didn't make it uh, to, 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 you skipped three. testing. <laughs> three of them obviously were just known to be perfect in development and no need for test. So are you done? No, testing You're testing. done. Are wow. we done? You guys are going to be very, very happy with your time. Yeah. You have three minutes, 39 seconds, point eight. Wow. I can't type that on, so I'll need someone to type it for me, but 339.8. We rocked. You rocked. You guys That's were awesome. really, really moving those stories. We're motivated. Yes, indeed. Um, and you even did it in my favorite color. You knew who your product owner was. I did. When they purple. said product owner, I'm like, it's got to be purple, baby. It's got to be purple. I approve. It Bonus matches point. the llama. <laughs> Now, yeah. now, what we need to do is we need to we need to add two little dots to each of them so that they're each buttons. Oh, <laughs> now that would have been perfect. That would have been classic. Awesome. Yeah, you know that's that's a change of scope though. We'll have to do that. <laughs> that's next. Time. I'd like a change that's request on that. I'd like to have the buttons on them, please, for the next that's, iteration. That's next. Yeah. Time. Next. So do we we get to take ten seconds off for finishing in purple? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We knew our product owner, so you know. <laughs> oh my In this gosh. case, you got bonus points because you did happiness. Happiness happens for me. <laughs> right. So you can see we went from twelve twenty seven to six fifty seven down to three thirty nine. Wow. Oh, cool. So you can see teamwork is the dream work. You yep. Can see the different approaches to work and how effective that can be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed our game. It was I fun. Did. Thank you, Erin. I enjoyed it even just watching. So that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need Button was yeah. actually trying to get the balls, you guys, when you were dragging him across. That's why yeah. I went on. I cut the camera for a minute because I thought she was going to claw my camera screen. She was oh trying to God. play with the balls as they were moving. Yeah. I'm like, you're not a cat. You're a puppy. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give you guys just a quick preview. You'll get the PowerPoint. Um, but I'll give you just a quick preview. Um, just some more fun, happy thoughts. Oh, there we go. I love, the, oh, man, be someone else's reason to smile today. And that's what you guys were just doing. Teamwork makes the dream work. So yeah. here's a bunch of information about frozen custard. You're going to get the whole, um, the whole thing. I thought this was kind of, kind of cool. I know we have Culver's and Shake Shack. Oh, My mom has yep. a Freddy's in Dayton, Ohio. I don't know if you guys have any. Freddy's. We have Freddy's and Shake Shack and Culver's. <laughs> oh, okay. Every, everything starts around the World Fair. So who knew? Um, oh, the biggest difference with, with custard is the use of eggs in it. I did huh? not know that. I have never made custard. Mm -mm. So again, there's some tips for how to do it. Um, and um tempering eggs so no one wants scrambled eggs in their ice cream so learn to Very temper true. your eggs Very, yeah interesting okay unless it's a brunch um, yeah yeah there you go um variations on the fun anything that involves brownie or warm cookies is awesome to me so i'm right yeah. there about these variations so uh, there's two two different recipes one is a frozen uh, the frozen custard um that you uh will put into the machine to make and then uh, the next one is a new england style who knew uh, that you don't need to have an ice cream machine difference oh. is the new england style uses evaporated milk mm -hmm. and uh, just lots of whisking or a stand mixer to uh, get some volume and whip up that cream much much mm -hmm. better um, so you, again you guys will get those um in the PowerPoint, um, as well as let me do the screen. Um, I know Bill had a really yummy frozen. Um, what was his creme brulee, creme brulee, creme brulee. frozen creme brulee frozen custard? So I will put his into the PowerPoint. 
Um, oh, anything with burnt sugar crunch just sounds awesome to me. So you guys will yes. love that recipe. Mm -hmm. um, I looked at it. It looked good. Wow. So I will include that in there. Okay. Um, I but, put my non-custard ice cream in the um, chat as yes, well. Yes, I saw that. Uh, that you thank don't you. have to cook like custard, but it is very easy and it's very refreshing. And I suggest making it with lemon and squeezing lemon in it and making it lemon ice cream. It's really refreshing. Hmm, now, do you good. just do you just freeze yours, Marcy? I actually have doing? an ice cream freezer, so I put it in that and do it. Oh, but okay. my mom has actually done it, just putting it in a freezer. The texture isn't quite the same, but it does freeze up. So it does. Is it more crystallized, like ice crystals, when you just freeze it? Freeze it? Yeah, it is a little okay. bit more like ice crystals. But I, I use um, I have a little. Well, I have the old cat fashioned crank kind, and I also have an electric one that you know just does it. So, huh. and it works. The days of all the rock salt around the ice cream. Uh, that's the old fashioned one that I have in my basement. And we still use just for nostalgia. You Absolutely. have to put the salt in. You have to keep that little hole. Cranking it. Drained, yep. yeah. And there, crank. Uh, there's Jeff's Northern Lights cocktail. <laughs> oh. Well, I got inspired by Norm. A backdrop in the conversation. I'm like, oh, there's got to be. And the sleep under stars night. Jeff, I can send it to you. I just, I don't think I have your email address, but. Uh... Okay, I will get that to you. Unity at bluegrass.iiba.org. <laughs> what? Liberty? Community. She's our community vice president. Community oh, okay. at, <laughs> at bluegrass.iiba.org. So uh, we're a little past time, but and I'm going to fit in real quickly. Um, one thing we were going to add to this was also the ways we give back and everything um so what makes you happy in giving to others and that so i only put up two of the few uh things that i give to every month and that i've been given to the kentucky united methodist um, home for children um, nice. for many years and that uh, i live here in kentucky and um you know they help uh, young ones at risk um, to graduate high school and go to college and, and get into their their lives and their careers. So um, that the other one I've uh, donated to very uh, for many years now is St. Jude. You know, love St. Jude. Love St. Jude. Children's I agree. Research Hospital and that. So I give them you know monthly and and support their efforts to get rid of childhood cancer. I agree fun. with you on adopt a pet. I do that one too, Steph. I have a long list. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. But it's nice that, I mean, not only do we find happiness when we are hanging out and with each other, but it's nice to be able to share that with other people. So mm -hmm. thank you, Erin, for sharing that. I can't mm -hmm. type because furball's on my arm, but I do junior achievement. Feed My Starving That's Children, right. Adopt a Pet, and Heartland Animal Shelter, which is a local one just down the street from me. It's no kill. And right now, they're really going through a hard time. They had a water main break under their building. Mm -hmm. So they are actually in temporary. They're using the Chicago Executive Airport, gave them one of their hangars that they're using temporarily while the shelter is being rebuilt, basically. And they're they've been out of there since June, and they won't get back in until October. So. Oh, boy. So, so they're doing some heavy fundraising and they've got all of their animals made it through the flood. Um, they got lucky in that the gentleman that um, comes by for maintenance, the village guy looked in and saw the cats clinging to the top of the climbing pole instead of being down where they normally are. And that's how they realized. And he called 911 immediately. And luckily that was before the dogs drowned. So, oh, geez. Yeah. So wow. it was so quite a scene. Wow. I've been helping out over there. So, so along those yeah. That you were talking about just a minute ago, Steph and that about, you know, connecting with people and being happy just in your group of friends and that um, one of our agilists at work today really surprised me. And I guess the entire team, we had a sprint retrospective today and we we really didn't talk work. It was all about, you know, what's going on in your life. And, you know, we were made connections and I found one of our tester 
lives just south of me here in Kentucky, you know, our oh. office is in Ohio. I had no idea she lived in Kentucky. And oh, wow. so, nice. so, you know, we got to learn a little bit more. We talked about the Fort Chial, uh water tower. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, so it, it was nice and refreshing just to take, you know, step back, take a deep breath, um, not talk about work in the middle of the day. So wow, really nice. refreshing. And, you know, it reminded me of these events that these three ladies put on and that, that mm -hmm. you know, are just joyful um, to be at and everything. I have a yeah. real quick similar one. Um, I mentioned it to the team when we were planning this, but I had something really helpful happen to me. I have been really overwhelmed at work. And you all know me well enough to know that I don't, it's not easy for me to ask for help. And I started very vocally asking for help and not getting any. Well, the lady who has become a very good friend of mine, but she was my manager before I got moved to my current manager. She stepped up and scheduled a meeting with my manager and a couple other people. And she said, my teams are under control. We're working on the same project, but we really are test only on it. We don't have all the coding and stuff. So she's, she said, I will be Marcy's partner and I will help her get all the stories written and I will step in and be her other person. Oh, wow. She's a manager in her own right, handling two teams. And she is just... Oh, I'm going to tear up again, but she stepped in and uh, it's my day, and she really is helping me. That's and good. That's above and beyond. I I can't thank right. her enough. Yeah. Wow. You just need somebody to kind of look beyond their own and just lend a hand. And right. she yep. is. I mean, you Shannon is fantastic, hand. and I literally, you know, called her because I have her home number. We're friends, and. I was in tears. I said, I don't know how to tell you what, what you just did meant to me. And she goes, I know, sweetheart, but you do it for me. So yeah. Aww. That's cool. nice. You're Very make cool. Cry. Yep. Very cool. So there's always a light at the end of the tunnel is what I'm saying. When it looks the darkest, someone's going to shine that light. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Steph, Kathy, Marcy, do you have anything to finish up? Oh, just grateful Sandra, for all I love of your you. background. <laughs> oh, thank you. I know. <laughs> it is beautiful. Beautiful. I'm camping. <laughs> other, other than that, we have another one coming up. We'll get that out um, as part of the communication. Oh, oh. Thank you. November 14th. Let me get the link in there. And I know. Yeah, please do. I know. You know, I think it's, I think it's kind of cool with the next one um, coming in lines with Thanksgiving. Um, mm -hmm. in, in my nonprofit world, it's always thanks for giving time. And I think it'll be a kind of a cool lead in with all the wonderful groups. We talked about things to do as, um, oh. you so, know, mention them again. <laughs> oh, look at Norman, oh, how do you like our oh. graphic? Like Sweet. Our Aaron is amazing yeah. with our graphics. <laughs> yes. Looks great to me. Yeah. By the way, yeah. if I can ask, if I can ask the uh, the other chapter people who have put events out there, are you using Zoom meetings or are you using Zoom webinars for these? Oh, depends on the meeting. Because we just shifted to the new portal and we had a meeting yesterday, and the Zoom link did not go out to everybody. I actually had to send an email. The last announcement about the meeting, I put the Zoom link into that announcement. And people weren't getting it by email. We were still answering emails of how do I get in during the meeting? 